11. So good morning, class seven children. Today we'll revise chapter number eleven, transportation in plants and animal. As you have already read that this chapter has been divided into two parts. First of all, the transportation system in the plants will be observed, and afterwards, sorry, animals and plants. How the transportation system is, how the in plants. food water minerals are transferred and in animals like uh, blood how that is circulated in all parts of the blood with the help of the blood vessels and even who which of the organ is responsible for the transportation system that is heart is responsible for circulating all the blood parts so we'll continue with it so first of all let's see the slides of it so that we can recap the chapter so first of all we are going to study about the circulatory system okay so first of all we'll discuss about the circulatory system how the waste products are transported from all parts of the body and these are removed it's even food is digested water oxygen are transported to all parts of the body and waste products are removed so the transportation system in our body who is responsible for all these systems so one of the system is their circulatory system it consists of heart blood vessels and vessels so now we have to discuss how many vessels are next vessels are there so blood consists of three things first of all blood transports substances in the body it has a fluid part which is known as plasma Okay, any one of you can read this. Vanish Sharma, kindly read this slide. Okay, ma'am. First, blood. Blood transports substances in the body. It has a blood part called plasma, and cells like red blood cells, RBC, white blood cells, WBC, and platelets. Second, red blood cells contain a pigment called hemoglobin, which transports oxygen. White blood cells fights against germs and protects us from diseases. Platelets help in clotting of blood. okay so the, you had seen the function of the blood rbcs wbcs and platelets i hope it is clear to you if anything not clear you may ask yes is it clear okay let's move to the next slide rbcs contain a red color pigment you know wbcs fight against the diseases and platelets helps in clotting the blood next how this blood flows what is the system of flowing the blood so children there are different blood vessels like three blood vessels we are going to discuss here arteries veins and capillaries so you have to see that arteries what type of bloods they carry so arteries carry oxygen rich blood from heart to all parts of the body and moreover they have thick walls so this question may also be there why arteries have thick walls so the reason behind it because they have to pump the blood that's why they have the thick walls and next is veins they carry carbon dioxide rich blood from all parts of the body to the heart and they have thin walls so there may be a question that differentiate between the arteries and veins next is capillaries are very thin vessels which join arteries and veins that are known as capillaries okay afterwards pulse and pulse rate so now how you know blood flows in our body as we have read through the arteries and capillary with this uh, veins but can we feel that blood that blood is flowing in our body yes that blood is felt by the pulse at children blood flows through the arteries at a high pressure and that movement can be seen that is known as a pulse so you can where you can feel it where is your pulse if i ask you that where is your pulse how you can calculate your pulse rate where is the pulse pulse in the wrist and in the neck yes at the neck and in the wrist 
you can see the rest okay next is the number of yes beta you need to find it out like do do like this you just feel to do it you will be feeling it okay maybe once twice you are not able to find it out you have to search see in the figure also it has been given how you need to search and normal pulse rate is between 72 to 80 beats per minute if you calculate your uh, uh, this uh, pulse rate per minute it will be 72 to 80 beats per minute and we, we can count the pulse rate in both hands yes in both the hands you can calculate okay just search it out fix the time first of all find feel your pulse then fix the time for 1 minute then start calculating you will be find if you are at rest position that depends pulse rate also increases when you are running or doing any of the physical exercise if you are at rest position not doing anything your pulse rate will be between 72 to 80 beats next so these are the blood vessels and children this is a schematic uh, diagram of heart is given in your book one single diagram is of heart ek schematic diagram hai that how the pressure in the center there is a heart how see red color jo red color ka aapka dikha rakha hai red color is for the arteries and blue color is for the veins because they carry carbon dioxide rich blood so see this figure and you should know that how this diagram we can uh, label this diagram next and one more is their pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein their function is opposite to the arteries and veins okay bhavya kindly read this paragraph heart about it the heart is an organ which pumps blood to all part of the body heart is about size of your fist our fist the heart has four chambers two upper chambers are called artery and two lower chambers are called ventricles ventricles uh, the heart the heart has a a parchin in the middle which prevents mixing up of oxygen rich blood and car and carbon dioxide rich blood <clears throat> beta c c heart has uh, its organ which pump the blood to all parts of the body okay size is like a fist it has four chambers upper two chambers are the arterias and lower two chambers are the ventricles now in the heart there is a partition otherwise dono blood aapas mein mix ho jayenge oxygen rich and carbon dioxide rich blood will mix so to avoid the mixing there is a partition in the middle okay that partition is known as septum sep kindly write down septum s e p t u m which prevent मिक्सिंग अप ऑफ द ब्लड वो दोनों ब्लड को मिक्स नहीं होने देता है ऑक्सीजन रिच एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिच ब्लड डज नॉट मिक्स नेक्स्ट नाउ कैन यू फील योर हार्ट बीट ओके सो हाउ मच इज द हार्ट बीट पर मिनट हैव यू कैलकुलेटेड योर हार्ट बीट फिफ्टीन टू एटीन Kindly be see it again. Seventy to eighty. Seventy to eighty. It is same as your pulse rate, like seventy to eighty times per minute. Okay, if you are sitting, uh, or you are at a rest mode, so heartbeat it's about seventy to eighty times per minute. If you calculate for one minute, so your heartbeat will be how much? Seventy to eighty. Pulse rate was also same. that was also 70 to 80 times it was can you uh, hear your heart beat by keeping your hand on the heart you can feel your heart beat and even doctors have you seen that doctors use the instrument stethoscope stethoscope so with the help of stethoscope what they hear heart beat means 
the amplified heartbeat. sound of the heartbeat amplified sound means they hear the sound on the large scale the amplitude is higher because they they have to see they have to check that whatever the disease is there so for that purpose is stethoscope is used by the doctors so how many parts of stethoscope are there name different parts of stethoscope two ear piece are there which are put into the ear joined by the tube and one more is there that yeah, is the chest piece chest, chest, chest piece and, so three things are there three parts of stethoscope are there first is two ear piece second is chest piece and third is tubes with the tubes that are connected okay. next is yes devyanshu and three parts mean from ear pieces to here ma'am and the rubber tube is for connecting the yes ear so we are just saying three piece are there na no? ear pieces on the tube is there which is connected and other is a chest piece three pieces are there yes yes ask is my question can start differentiate between heartbeat and pulse rate so ma'am what will be uh, what will be so beta we can feel the movement of the blood heart is pumping the blood theek okay? hai and how we can feel that movement if we want to see that the blood is flowing through the vessels or not that is a pulse which can be felt as you had told that is uh, at the wrist or at the neck it can be felt theek okay? hai if we want to see that either it is the blood is flowing through our body or not okay next children so till here your uh, circulatory system is over now we'll discuss about the excretory system now whatever the waste is there in our body that is excreted through the body so how that is excretion is done so for excretion of the body there is a different system in our body which is known as a excretory system plenty of the system are there nervous system is there circulatory system is there digestive system respiratory system for each and every function there are different system so for the removal of the wastage from our body there is an excretory system so excretory system consist of kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra okay yes devyanshu read this paragraph okay ma'am second excretion in animal excretion So the process by which waste products are removed from the body excretion is done by the excretory system. The human excretory system consists of kidney, ureter, urinary, urinary bladder, and urethra. The blood brings the waste products and the food. The answer is not audible. Have you muted yourself? The Vyanshu, speak loudly. Okay, Nishche, you can continue with the next paragraph. The blood brings the waste products. Okay, ma'am. The blood brings the waste products to the kidneys. The kidneys filter the waste and removes the waste as urine. The urine passes through the ureters into the urinary bladder. From the urinary bladder, the urine passes out through the urethra. Okay. So the children diagram is there. I want each one of you to draw the diagram, and you should know. how we can label the diagrams so see on the top two tubes are there which are known one is for arteries and second is for the veins two bean shaped jo kidneys ki hai wo shape kaisi hoti hai what is the shape of a kidney <clears throat> bean b e a n bean aapne dane dekhe hai na jo khate hain beans rajma ke jaise the shape of the kidney is like that bean shaped you can see in the diagram even how many kidneys are there two. two kidneys are there and two kidneys are connected through the tubes that tubes are known as ureters see in that figure two tubes are named, known as ureter and kidneys are connected to the urinary bladder urinary bladder ke sath kaise attach hai through the ureter wo tube ke sath attach hai and urinary bladder store the urine and then the <clears throat> urine is expelled out of the body through the 
urethra. Kindly move to the next one. Now one thing more is there. Urine, what does it consist of? Ye bhi hai aapke paas. You know the answer. See in the second paragraph. Below the diagram. Kindly go the next. Kavya next. Huh? Kavya next. Yes. <clears throat> Kindly underline it. It's very important. The percentage of urinary uh, urine can be there. Okay. Next comes transportation in plants. Children, transportation system takes place in plants also. You know, plants prepare food. They absorb water and mineral. So what of the system is responsible for it? Which system is responsible for it? So there is a vascular system which is responsible for it. Yes, Vedika. Read, yes, read this transportation in plants. Okay, ma'am. Transportation in plants. In plants, transport of food, water and minerals takes place through special tissues called vascular tissues. Tissues is a group of cells which perform a specialized function. Vascular tissue is of two types called xylem and phloem. The roots have roots, root hairs which absorb water and minerals from the soil. The xylem tissue transports the water to all parts of the plant. Food is prepared in the leaves. The phloem tissue transports the food to all parts of the plant. Okay. So I hope it is clear to you. Xylem and phloem, they do the transportation work. Xylem is responsible for the transportation of water to all parts of the plant. And the phloem is responsible for the food to all parts of the plant. So in this way, the transportation system takes place in plants and Animals. So means whole of the chapter we had read through these slides. So I hope it is clear to you now. And if anything yet not understood, kindly let me know. After that, we'll be sharing the assignment with you.